What's going on guys, GCMSE here and welcome to a brand new video and welcome to a daily dose of transfer content. And today it is going to be Sunday the 9th of August, we have confirmed deals to go through as well as the rumours. So just before we get started, if you could do our good stuff by leaving a like rating, press the subscribe button if you're new and press the bell notification next to it so you never miss an upload. Yesterday's episode will be down below in the description box and the current schedule every day at 8am UK time there will be a new video for you to look forward to. And finally drop a comment below, I'll try to respond to as many as I can. So first up today we have got a transfer that apparently is very close to being completed. So according to a journalist called Bruno Andrade, he is saying Gremio star Everton is set to move to Portugal with Benfica. The two clubs have now agreed a deal and that leaves the Brazilian forward free to report to his new club this weekend and undergo a medical. Now he doesn't suggest how much a transfer will be costing um, but other outlets are saying about 20 million euros. And fair play to Benfica for getting the deal done, because he has been pretty in demand the last year or so, and even led to a move to Serie A and the Premier League. And the next story is from Goal.com. The SN Ajax have expressed an interest in a loan move, that's for Ryan Sessegnon, but they will face a wait to see if Jose Mourinho will allow him to leave Tottenham. Sessegnon struggled to establish himself in his first season at Spurs as after a £25 million move from Tottenham last summer. The Dutch side could offer the 20 year old valuable playing time but his current manager may opt to keep him at Spurs for the next campaign and he has also been linked to a brief return to Fulham um, but to be fair a move to Ajax could be very beneficial for everyone. He gets first team football and Ajax get a good player. Celtic have asked about the availability of Bayern Munich goalkeeper Sven Ulreich and this story is from Sport 1. The Scottish champions have already snapped up Vissalis Barkas but remain in the market for another shot stopper. They spent about £5 million on the Greek keeper and for Ulreich he may not be needed now because they have recently bought in Newball from Schalke and he'll be the understudy to Manuel Neuer. Sky Germany are reporting that Bayern Munich have registered their interest in signing 22-year-old RB Leipzig defender Nordi Mukiele. The Frenchman has a contract with Leipzig until 2023 and therefore it would take a substantial offer from Bayern, that's before Leipzig even think of selling him. And Bayern are in the market for a new right back because so far had been linked to Dest from Ajax and also Aarons from Norwich. But Mukiele, on top of being a right back, he can also play centre back, so he does offer a good amount of versatility. Everton are keen on a move for Manchester United defender Diogo Dallo, and this story is from the Daily Star. The right back has struggled to establish himself at Old Trafford, making just four league appearances this season, and just 11 in all competitions. Everton boss Carlo Ancelotti is confident he can get the signing over the line and sign the 21 year old for just £10 million, which I think for United would be a slight loss on the fee they paid. Chelsea midfielder Bakayoko is willing to accept a pay cut to rejoin AC Milan and this story is from Calcio Mercato. The 25 year old who currently earns about 6 million euros per season, um, though the typo in this story does say per week which definitely isn't the case, he has spent the current season alone at AS Monaco, but the prior season before that he was playing for Milan. The Frenchman would consider halving his current earnings to head back to Milan, with Chelsea eager to get him off their books permanently. Various sources are saying that Liverpool are interested in signing Vasco da Gama wonder kid Thales Magno. The 18 year old forward has a release clause of about £45 million but Vasco are willing to accept around half that amount and apparently they have got some kind of financial difficulty. And as for Liverpool they do face competition from the likes of Paris Saint Germain as uh, Magno is very much in demand. And next story is from the Liverpool Echo. They say the Premier League champions could make a move for Watford's Ismail Assar. At 22, Saar fits into Liverpool's transfer strategy, with the Reds looking to bring in players with potential to improve in the short term and also have a long term future at the club. Saar would offer depth in attack and the winger's friendship with Sadio Mane could lead to a move, though other teams interested are Crystal Palace and Wolves. 
And I know it could potentially be a pretty quiet window, but if Liverpool managed to bring in a backup left back, um, whether that is Lewis from Norwich or not, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, but add on top of that is Mela Sarr as a backup to the likes of Mohamed Salah and add a bit of Thiago in the middle. I think that'd be a really good window. Another Watford player that could be going due to the relegation is going to be Spaniard Gerard De La Feu. And the Evening Standard are saying he is now the subject of interest from Crystal Palace. The Eagles are currently looking into a potential loan deal for the 26-year-old, though they will face competition from AC Milan and Valencia. Leeds have made Brentford attacker Saeed Ben Rama one of their top transfer targets for this window. The Express report the newly promoted Premier League side are set to table a £20 million bid, with West Ham, Aston Villa, Tottenham and Chelsea also interested. And it seems to be a news story pretty much every single day because I missed out the Arsenal rumour there and he's a player that will be very much in demand. And with Brentford missing out on promotion, he will be available and probably for a fairly reasonable fee. Milan have identified Arsenal midfielder Lucas Torreira as a transfer target and this story is from the Telegraph. The Rossoneri could land the Uruguayan if they decide to launch a formal bid, with a gun is open to a sale in the summer transfer window. And there is another story saying that the midfielder has admitted he may have to leave the club, that's in order to find regular first team minutes after falling down the pecking order this season. And it wouldn't be the first time he has been linked to AC Milan, because back in January it was the same situation. But a midfielder linked to Arsenal this time from the Daily Mail is going to be Leon star Husum Awa. And they state that alongside Manchester City and Juventus, the other team showing a lot of interest in the midfielder is Arsenal. They want to sign the 22-year-old attacking midfielder and Leon value him at about 60 million euros or 54 million pounds. There has been a lot of speculation that Arsenal's transfer budget this window is very, very low. And the fact is they, they can't really afford Thomas Partey, their main transfer target right now, at uh, close to 50 million. So could they afford the extra like 10 mil for hour? I'm not too sure. Everton are interested in signing Atletico Madrid midfielder Tom Lamar. And this story is from La Ten Sport. The Toffees are planning to launch an official bid for the 24-year-old who has been deemed to plus two requirements at the Wanda Metropolitano. However, Atletico will look to recoup a large chunk of the 70 million they paid for him and that was from Monaco back in 2018. And it's safe to say the Frenchman's move hasn't really worked out at all, um, especially for the fee. He cost them so much money, but the return has been pretty minimal. A story from various sources now is that David Silva will sign a three-year contract with Lazio on Monday. His father has said that he could play until he's 40 and he loves the Serie A. Gianluca Damasio did seem pretty adamant that Silva would be interested in making the switch and uh, Lazio are very much interested in bringing him in. A transfer that won't be happening though is Cristiano Ronaldo and a potential switch to Paris Saint-Germain. Juventus' chairman has denied the Portuguese forward, who is now 36, he denied he will leave the club following their Champions League exit to Lyon. And uh, that story is from Sky Sports Italia. And bear in mind that Juventus, th the whole main reason for bringing Ronaldo in was to try and push for the Champions League, and they failed pretty early this year. And like I said a couple days ago, there were stories saying that Ronaldo was pretty unhappy in Turin and he really wanted to link up with Neymar and Mbappe in the French capital. If Manchester United do not make a suitable offer by Monday, Jadon Sancho will stay at Borussia Dortmund. The German club will then look to increase his salary from €6 million Euros per year up to 10. And that story is from Build in Germany. And now we have got some breaking news which has just broken right now and uh, at least according to Fabrizio Romano. He has said Mauricio Sarri has been sacked as Juventus coach. The announcement is imminent and this is again following their surprise exit to Lyon in the Champions League. And it was kind of expected that he wouldn't be there for next season because let's face it they've not been playing well and uh, despite winning the league it's not really enough for them now. And it looks like Juve's main target to replace Sari is going to be Maurizio Pochettino. Gazzetta dello Sport do say Juve have contacted the ex-Tottenham manager and they're discussing his potential availability. The Bianconeri are keen on bringing in the Argentine to replace Sari, whose first season in Turin has been dubbed a failure. 
And as for Pochettino, he's been pretty much waiting for the right job to come about. And quite possibly this Juventus opportunity, it may be one he takes up. And the final story today is from Football Insider. They said Tottenham are preparing a huge bid to bring Gareth Bale back to the club. The Wales international forward has been frozen out by Zinedine Zidane at Real Madrid and is in line to be offered a chance to return to England. And um, I mentioned it yesterday how it probably isn't all on Madrid and Zidane and uh, Bale has to take some of the blame himself. But if he was genuinely given the opportunity to go back to Spurs, I think he would be somewhat interested. And I also again mentioned yesterday how Madrid, they were kind of regretting not letting him go to the CSL last summer and he also didn't want to play against Manchester City. I was just about to upload the episode and some massive breaking news has just come out. So I thought the Bell story would be the final part but that is not the case. I've got some breaking news from various different outlets. About a minute or so ago I said how sorry had been sat. That has all been confirmed now. Then the rumours were suggesting that Maurizio Pochettino, he'd be the man to take over. But that is not true. The man to get the job is former player Andrea Perlo. The legendary midfielder is set to be announced as the Juventus head coach and that will be either today or tomorrow or for you guys it will be on Saturday night or Sunday morning. And the timeline for this one is kind of crazy because a week ago he was hired as the Juventus under 23 manager and that was his first managerial job. Now he's getting a go at being the first team's manager and he's got zero experience in the managerial position. Is a risk? Is it a risk worth taking? We'll have to wait and see. But that guys is going to be it for this video. So if you could do out good stuff by leaving a like rating, press the subscribe button if you're new and press the bell notification next to it so you never miss an upload. My previous episode will be down below in the description box and the current schedule every day at 8am UK time there will be a new video for you to look forward to. So thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.